Hello dear traders, Petr Chimic here from Vikeanalysis.com. Um, I want to post the updates on my uh, on my positioning here. Um, uh, first of all, I want to start with the Euro New Zealand dollar, um, since um, uh, this currency pair basically uh, went lower, but it still didn't broke the low. Um, so it may be that we go to reject from the from the low and um, that we go higher here anyway again I'm still bullish you can still add position even at this stage you can add one position it's not also very it's not bad idea at all you can add here position and of course um, again my stop losses here I added here uh, one, one more position so um, and uh, I'm still again holding, I'm pretty bullish as well on Euro New Zealand dollar. Waiting for again at least this 100% or 161.8. So, but this is again short term perspective. So, uh, this is about the Euro New Zealand dollar. Uh, you can add at this stage, it's also fine to add one position if you didn't enter it here. Now, uh, as I spoke on the um, yeah, the USD Canadian dollar that I waited pretty much uh, the five uh, fi five waves. Uh, we I got the five waves. We got uh, this um, here five waves. You see one, two, three, four, five. This is a clear sign of, of the strength. Uh, anyway, price managed basically to go all the way lower, almost to test to break this low. But of course, it didn't have power, which is also normal. They went all the way here. To the low um, to um, basically to you know to test this low um, they didn't broke the low okay so this is a very good sign um, they want to basically to the smart money wanted to explore here and once they are sure that there is no big supply there uh, that they can basically um, continue buying this uh, Especially when we saw in the background, uh, finalized ABC uh, formation here, um, you see that we got um, ABC and uh, about 127.2 percentage C versus A point. So, again, when we have that in background, we started good five waves counting here. It's a sign of strength, and then the, the supply came in basically, and um, I Entered position as you see here, 1.3043. Is the area with stop loss just below the C point? So, a few pips below the C point here, or the um, uh, first wave the swing low, this first wave. Okay, so because this will be clear that the, this is counter will be wrong and that something changed. So, if the price go uh, below, let's say 1.300, uh, zero zero, let's say. 1.3 level. If the price go below that, it will mark that this uh, count is evil and something changed. But anyway, so far it's looking very good. It went very, very good. Strong push in a, in a very short time. It's, it's very good. The buyers and the oh, what the generally a good thing here is that risk reward ratio. Again, I I really really um, uh, like to trade a high risk reward ratio setups, which can bring potential. For example, this is a, what expect at least at least 161.8 on the third wave. That will be 1.3230 level. So imagine you will risk about I risked about uh, 35 pips, and I'm going for what is 170.80 pips. Okay, so this is uh, what I speak. And when the in combination here, if you see the volume here also very important because we got the climatic action here which uh, got tested here okay so as we saw the decreasing in the take that you see this is the actually um, okay so what we got here is basically the price went to test that low but look at the you know, volume um, decreasing there. So there is no big power from sellers on this testing of the low at this point. And um, 
this is also very very good because there is no big supply there so of course the price can be marked higher and that we may start this third wave which I expect okay so this is pretty much the plan is coming to the the play I'm uh, told you about uh, this plan yesterday once we uh, once I saw the 5 wave count that this is that we are going to this 5 wave counts I'm pretty much when I did analysis we was around this stage here price went to this 5 wave count price went lower didn't broke the, the swing low which is a good sign and then went higher and this is the where I started to um, to buy with this tight stop loss comparing to the potential target if this count is um, again as long this count is active as long the price doesn't go below this we can expect 161.8 or even 261.8 look at this 1.3 370 so um, I will decide if I see the five wave counts in this third lag for example I see the five wave counts and I see that we may see the finalizing the five wave counts and that will complete the, the major third wave then I will exit at this 161.8 but if I see that we got a strong upward momentum with uh, no five waves then uh, potentially I can decide to still hold position to even 261.8 uh, at this point 261.8 uh, and try to catch that but again for the now target is very very fine at 1.3 227 28 that uh, is about 1 to 3 uh, one, for the 1 to 5 risk reward ratio and that is a very very good 1 to 5 risk reward ratio so potentially I will look to exit here but of course I will observe the the waves here the price action the volume and uh, react according to that okay so again this is the how I also teach my uh, students on the, my, on the my mentorship program so it's not big deal if you got stop out for example even if you got stop out a few times um, trying to catch the high risk reward ratio and um, try to analyze the market but once you are right um, as, as you see that we are right now um, already I'm already in plus about uh, 24 25 pips so if you're right and you're count and you're counting uh, or your vol any any strategy you use if it's going good this can bring you the one five one six one seven one eight risk reward ratio so it doesn't matter if you got uh, two times or few times stop out you need to have plan the secondary plan of that currency for example if you observe USD CAD so the first plan was that this is a one two pardon first wave second wave that this is a third wave this is a potential fourth wave that we can go lower that didn't work since the, we didn't complete that and this was an ABC correction okay this was an ABC corrected um, I knew from that point that this is an ABC since we broke this and then I started to count and I have the plan that if this go like this I know what's going on okay so that's exactly how you trade your plan okay so it's very very important you know to trade your plan and uh, to have in advance uh, the two scenarios or few scenarios which can happen okay my first scenario was this is a, a starting with a 5 way count that we started to change behavior from bullish to bearish in the background but since the price didn't got power to go lower we didn't finish at that fifth wave and I knew when it started to, to go higher that this is basically the ABC corrective form according to the previous upward trend okay and that was my secondary plan to weigh the five accounts to weigh the correction whenever uh, and once I see the correction I, I know that where is my stop loss I know exact where I put my stop loss okay so uh, stop loss is just below this you don't need to put any 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 bigger stop loss than this it's very very fine because if the price go there it will confirm invalid so you cannot count then second wave like this okay so again uh, going very good right now I'm in plus 20 pips but it's you have still time to enter stop loss again is very fine to place near 1.2995 area 90 you know into the spread there and the target is at least 
again 1.230 area 1.3 um, yeah around that 1.3230 area so this is at least target for this third wave that'll be all for this video I hope you enjoyed um, also again I'm bullish on the euro New Zealand dollar uh, um, as well still bullish you can add here we have plenty of potential there um, this counting is still active which is still very active here so again but this is a short term and this is a um, this is a more near term so it can happen in the next uh, day or two you know so okay that will be all if you like to my analysis feel free to subscribe my youtube channel follow my work on forex factory trade with art string better serbia if you want to start my mentorship program you can add me to skype so we can uh, speak about potential cooperation and um, I really advise you if you are uh, if you want to, to have the at what's going on you know and to be always um, to always know what's going on in the market uh, I basically use I combine all the proven techniques um, in one I using the Wyckoff analysis the volume analysis combining with Fibonacci ratios as you see which are very important basically um, including the general price ratio extensions uh, retracements um, so and then I combine the Elliott wave um, and uh, this um, you know and of course the sub pure price action supply demand zones the chart patterns so everything proven uh, in the one okay in one package basically and uh, I hope for again I am expecting good profits here bye bye for now and uh, cheers